you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. Good morning. I'm going to come in today and use the tractor, box blade, scarifiers, and clean up all these holes that the gophers have been making. We've got rid of about 10 gophers just in this section of the pasture here. You can see I've got some traps set here. The gophers are just, just terrible in this pasture and it's really dangerous for the, the horses and the sheep. So like I'm saying, you've got holes like this and we've got even deeper ones. As you all know, new tractor owner, new tractor operator, so bear with me. I'm still learning to use my box blade. It's gonna be the angle of the dangle today, apparently. Okay, so I'm almost ready to start. From what I've been told online, the angle of the dangle of the box blade doesn't come from the blade, it comes from the frame of the tractor, right? By all you YouTube gurus, this is what I've been told. So, as an inexperienced guy, I've put my spirit level that I keep in my toolbox here on the tractor frame, and that's near as damn it to me. It's in the middle, the bubble's in the middle. So now we'll check the box blade and see where that is. I hope I'm going to put it in the right place here. Ah, I think it could come up right just a tad. Okay, so what, from what I've seen on YouTube from all you gurus, is to move that bubble that way, I need to lift the box up, up this way. So I need to turn this, and on the way this is hanging, this needs to come up a bit, right? So let's do that now. Okay, so loosen the nut. I'm gonna turn this now. Ah, it's working. Okay. Oh, I went there. There we go. Oh, excellent. Okay. So we'll just tighten this down so it doesn't come loose, and then I'll nip it up with my adjustable wrench which is here okay tighten that up and yeah i'm happy with that let's lift it slightly and see yeah it looks pretty level to me with my eye but my eye doesn't count for much as people will attest but yeah it's level in there and it was pretty level on the frame of the tractor where the tractor's parked so I'm happy with the angle of that blade okay so I'm gonna drop the scarifiers now because the gopher holes are rare, some of them are really deep. work along the fence line because I've got an electric fence there you can see it the electric string and the fence I don't want to hit that because that's very important to us okay here goes scarifiers are down
made now three passes on this section this looks really good really happy with that go for holes are gone now I can come and level that with the box blade I'm just gonna finish my three passes here and then I'll be done with the with the scarifying I'll lift the scarifiers and we can start box blading and get this all tidied up Okay, so that's how it looks after scarifying. We've got rid of a lot of the holes. Some of the holes are still there, but they'll fill in when I box blade it. Now I'll just come in and, and, and level it all out and, and even it up and just make it nice. I'm going to lift these scarifiers now and start using the box blade. Okay, so I'm all set up to box blade now. No scarifiers.
Gone. So we're getting there slowly, slowly, but surely. It's taken a lot of passes. Um, my piles of debris are getting smaller and smaller though, as, they, as it's finding the holes and stuff like that. So I just keep coming and pulling and pulling the dirt across. And it's starting to, to tidy up really nicely. It's starting to get really toasty on this 4th of July, folks. It's forecast 115 today here in Arizona. Yeesh. Yeah, so I'm trying to get done and go in and have some breakfast. All right, I'll finish up now. Okay, so I've started back dragging now to smooth it out and just really tidy up. But uh, I was too scared to film and back drag at the same time because it's so close to the fence. Look at this. So yeah, I, I had to concentrate. So uh, I'll do the next pass for you guys, but that was way too close for comfort. Okay, so here goes a pass for you guys. I'm gonna put the, the bucket in float. There we go, float mode. And here we go.
Okay, folks, same angle we started off at coming through the gate. This is the end of my angle of the dangle job with the box blade to tidy up the gopher holes and level this out and just make this road for the, the, the horses and the sheep safe again. And uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was a lot of work, 115 degrees now. And uh, I've just finished my last drop of water in my bottle. So it all worked out perfectly. Time to go in now, have some breakfast, sit and have a relax, possibly watch some rugby. I think Italy played Samoa. I'll be watching that. And then looking forward to lots of rugby this weekend. But uh, yeah, really happy with this job. Really, really happy. Turned out really nice, man. Little Kubota didn't let me down. <laughs>